Now, of course, as part of any project, you'll need some way to render a view. So we want to go and pull down the twig view package from Slim. So this is pretty straightforward. All it will do is allow you to easily use Twig within Slim. It's kind of like a bridge between Slim and Twig. And we'll take a look at exactly how we set all of this up and render our first view as well. So this is the package name. So go ahead and grab this. And then over in your terminal, we'll go ahead and require this in using Composer. So now that's downloaded, you can see that as well as the actual package, it's pulled down Twig. So we have that pulled down for us, ready to go. So the goal here then is to replace what we're currently doing. Now, if you go back to roots, we're just returning the string home. Of course, what we want to do is separate our views so we can just return them or rather render them from either our controller or roots like this. So where are we actually going to keep these views? Well, if we create a resources folder just in the root directory and in here we create a views folder, this is where we can store all of our views. So we'll leave this for now. We'll go ahead and get this set up. And what we're going to do is do this inside of our bootstrap. That makes sense. So we need to attach this to Slim's container. And to do that, we first of all need to grab the container. So I'm going to create a variable called container and I'm going to say app get container. So now what we can do is bind anything we want to the container. We'll be doing a lot more of this later. So if it doesn't quite make sense, we'll be covering this again. So if we say container view and here we have a function. So all this is going to do is when we want to use view, it will resolve this from the container. We have container here because we can access previous container items if we need to. So in order to do this, it is pretty straightforward. What we need to do is create a new slim view twig instance. We need to tell this where our views live, and then we need to add an, an optional extension, but this is going to be really useful. So let's start by just creating a variable called view. And this is a slim view twig instance. So into here, we pass as the first argument where our views are kept. Now we know that because we've already created the folder. So let's go ahead and choose this. So we go back a directory into resources and into views. So that just means that when we define which view we want to render, we don't have to give the full path every time. So we also have an array of options. And in my case, I'm going to turn caching off just for now. So if you're in production, you might want to change this to a directory where your cached views will be stored. But you don't need to worry too much about this. So next, I spoke about this extension. What this will allow us to do is generate URLs to different routes within our views. So don't worry if this doesn't make too much sense at the moment. We'll see how this works, of course, later on. So we're going to say add extension. And this extension is a new slim views twig extension. So into this, we want to pass our router and we pull our router from the container. This is on Slim's container. So we say container router. Now, why do we need our router? Well, of course, we need our router because we're going to be generating URLs for links within our views. So what we also want to do is pull in the current URI. And we do this using request. Remember, I said that request is responsible for the current request to the page. So to do this, we can say get URI pretty straightforward. Then all we want to do is return view. Simple as that. OK, so now that that's done, we can actually test this out because it's now on the container. But how do we access the container? Well, from within your roots, you can say this and then the name of the item within the container. So we've happened to call it view. So in the case of rendering a view, then we want to say return this view render 
we need to pass in our response, which we don't currently have there. So let's just pull in our request and our response. And then we give the name of the view we want to render. So in my case, I'm going to call this home.twig. We haven't actually created that yet. So let's go ahead and create this inside of the views folder. So home.twig. And in here, we'll just write home. So now we should see, well, we see an error because we've given the wrong namespace to twig. So let's go ahead and correct this. So it's slim views twig. And now we see exactly the same result. So this is now our view rather than just returning a string. And we can prove that just by changing this over here. Great. So we now have slim views set up and we can now use these within the controllers that we're going to be building a little bit later on.